everyone, this is Cat with Wondering Soup, and we are back with our weekly vlog on moving abroad from the U.S. Um, actually, this would be a, the bi-weekly, I guess, at this point, since it's the second week. Last week, we didn't have a vlog or vlog because it was my birthday week. Thank you. I took a quick little mini break on that day. And with everything going on in the U.S. right now, um, this feels really necessary. A um, lot of protests, a lot of um, burning, uh, marching, and even some looting. Um, keeping it 100. But we are back with our weekly vlog on moving abroad from the U.S. Uh, we've covered so far Costa Rica, Portugal, Vietnam, um, I believe Thailand as well. Uh, feel free to browse uh, our YouTube channel for those. And again, we're going to come every week with a different country. And again, this week we are moving to South Africa. Now, it was interesting uh, researching South Africa. It hasn't been one of those countries that we wanted to personally relocate to. Did want to visit, but not relocate to. Um, so the, the information that we found was very interesting. Everything that I'm discussing is always subject to change. You should always do your own research. This is just beginner information to get you started on your pathway, figure out where you want to go, what it's going to take to possibly get you there. Um, and this is also lim not limited, but mainly targeted to those uh, families, even singles, maybe someone with kids, but it's not retirement age. So you're still working, you're still looking and having to produce income to move to these areas. If you're of a retirement age, some of these things won't apply um, and maybe better. Who knows? Just do your research. Even after viewing this video, do your research. Don't just move because Kat said so. With that being said, let's get into it. First thing that we always discuss is land and business, business ownership. Can you do that if you were to move abroad? And you can't in South Africa. Um, you can actually purchase a home there with any problem. You're going to have to put about 10% down. So keep that thought process in mind. Business ownership, you can own a business there. You will need a working visa, which is a whole different process. So look into that. Um, now to own a business, even with that visa, you're going to have to have some requirements and things of that. And I actually go into more detail of the, on that information in the actual blog that accompanies the blog. So go to wonderingsoup.com to get those more, uh, those particulars. Um, but you will need money. You will need uh, to go to a lawyer, set everything up. Uh, you just can't walk in there and have a storefront tomorrow. That won't be happening. But again, you can't open a business. And that's really what you will know. Um, and South Africa, in particular, is a great country for entrepreneurs. Uh, one of the things that I found interesting, and we're going to flip right into citizenship, is that you just can't move there and desire to move there. Um, you have to bring a skill set to the table for them to approve a visa for you to, to be there. Now, you can do a visitor visa. That's fine. That'll get you 90 days and you're good. But if you want to stay there long term, you will have to have a work visa. The work visa will have to be a skill set or a talent that they don't have there in surplus, um, meaning low menial workers. And I'm not really dogging anybody, but a low skill set. You're not going to do it over there. They don't need you. They got enough of those. So come in with some, you know, a degree or some knowledge base, some proof that you've, you know, done some things, and you shouldn't have a problem. But if you don't have that, it's not happening in South Africa. So citizenship is going to be depending on you. What is your skill set? Um, medical, hmm, it's on par with the U.S. and uh, Europe in the sense that um, there's different hospitals. Um, care is going to be based on which one you go to to a certain extent. Some are going to be crappy, some are going to be good. Now, what's interesting about medical care in South Africa is... Um, you will pay based off what you make and how many dependents you have. So if you make a really good income and you have zero dependents, you're going to pay more than someone who makes the same amount of money as you, but has, say, four dependents. And by dependents, I mean a wife, kid, husband, however you guys classify a dependent. So keep that thought process in mind. And I would also recommend 
health insurance and medical insurance if you're going to move to South Africa. There's plenty of companies out there that provide that. Definitely do your research in regards to that. Different pricing structures and things like that. So keep that in mind. Education, nah. This is like the first country that I've actually said no to. Uh, you will have to educate your child um, either in an international school, uh, online, then maybe international school there. You're going to have to do some good vetting to make sure that it's worth your money and it's going to cost you. So definitely figure that into your budget. But the actual school system there, they're restructuring, they're trying to grow. But as of today, the answer is no. And I'm, I'm basing this on American school systems, which we know are not great. Cost of living, it's going to be cheap. Cheap to inexpensive. It really is depending upon you and what you want to do. Most people who are moving abroad, they're used to a Western style of living. And so you're going to want to live like that. That's going to run you anywhere from 600 to 1000 possibly cheaper. For an apartment, you can get a house easily for 1000 to 1500 um, Appliances and things like that. Cost of living though is not going to be an issue here. Um, and it's definitely cheaper than living in, say, like Johannesburg. It's going to be cheaper living there than, in, say, living in a comparable city such as Atlanta um, and things like that in the U.S. So go with that in mind. Make more money. Cost less to live there. And last but always not least, LGBTQI friendly. You can be gay here. It's one of the few parts of the continent that you actually can be gay. But there's going to be some issues. There always are. It's very similar to living in the U.S. It's legal. Uh, there's no restrictions, supposedly. But there's always going to be somebody who doesn't like you. So just keep that thought process in mind. Keep your eyes open, ear to the ground. Um, see if there's anything going on that you need to be aware of. And you'll be fine. One other thing I do want to add about South Africa, and I possibly should have added about other areas as well, is that there is crime in South Africa. There's been some reports in the news recently. Um, there's, been, there's a high unemployment rate uh, right now with the lower... Um, employable. I'm going to say that, I mean, lower skill set and things of that nature. So keep that in mind. Uh, there's a possibility you might get robbed, your home may get robbed, and you may be walking down the street, maybe in the wrong neighborhood. You definitely have to watch those issues. Just be cognizant. It's going to be very similar to living in the United States, realistically. That's what I gathered from it, from my research. Um, I have links for everything that I've discussed in this video on the blog, so you can go and do a little bit more research for yourself, as well as hopefully find some other information. If you find something, update it, send it to me. I would definitely love to share and update this blog as time comes. Again, it's very timely, I think, what was going on in the U.S. A lot of people are considering moving abroad, and so we're, again, we're just trying to give you the starting information that you're going to need to take those first steps. Uh, and South Africa may be the country for you. It's beautiful. We are definitely looking at it now. So uh, many thanks to everyone who watches us. Subscribe, like, follow, share, of course. I'm trying to get those views up. Um, and I am Kat. This is Wandering Soup. We'll see you next week with another country. If you got any suggestions of what countries we should discuss, leave them in the comments. Send us an email. Visit us on the website, www.wanderingsoup.com. Of course, we're on YouTube, Wandering Soup. And we're on IG, wondering underscore soup. We'd love to hear from you. Peace and love, y'all.